Hi everyone, how are you? It's Friday, the weekend, we've made it, hurrah! Um, how are you all doing? I have just managed, very excitingly, to make myself a fruit smoothie. <laughs> Perfect for this weather. Maybe you've got some leftover fruit that you might be able to make a fruit smoothie with at home. Um, so today I have decided to read a story. We all know that that's what I do on a Friday. And I found a few stories, but I wondered if the one I've chosen for today might be something that will help us to think about how we might be feeling with everything that's going on around us at the moment. The world that we live in is very different. It's, it's strange. It's very quiet. It's made up of a very small space because we're not allowed to go anywhere. And it's also a world that's full of so many questions and none of us really have the answers to them at the moment. Um, this book is called A Terrible Thing Happened. It's by Margaret Holmes and it's illustrated by Kerry Pillow. Now, this is about something that happened that somebody may have seen, but it also, I think, relates to what's going on at the moment, because what's going on at the moment is a terrible thing. And for some people, it's making us feel things that we don't really understand. So I'm wondering if this might help us to understand how our brains work and how we think when something like this happens in our life. What I'd like to remind you is that you have lots and lots of people here to help you and if you do have anything that's worrying you you always have a grown-up in your house that you can speak to or you can always contact somebody at school and we won't always have the answers all of us grown-ups would like to be able to have the answers I'm sure your parents or your grown-ups that you're living with would love to have the answers they don't have the answers at the moment um, but hopefully this will help you to realise that this is something that happens to quite a lot of people and we're going through a situation that's strange and, it, and we, we don't really know how we're supposed to feel about it and it makes you sometimes happy, sometimes sad, lots of confusing things going on. So let's read this through together and then hopefully it'll allow you to have a bit of a think and maybe speak to a grown-up if you're worried about something. So a terrible thing happened. Sherman Smith saw the most terrible thing. He was very upset. It really scared Sherman to see such a terrible thing. Sherman did not like feeling so afraid. He did not want to remember what happened. So Sherman decided not to think about the terrible thing he saw. Sherman thought that would make him feel better. At first, the plan seemed to work. Sherman woke up every morning, he brushed his teeth and he went to school. Sherman played with his friends, he teased his sister and he walked his dog. Everything seemed all right for a while. But something inside of Sherman was starting to bother him. Sherman had to play more, run faster and sing louder in order to forget the terrible thing he saw. Other things started happening to Sherman too. Sometimes he did not feel hungry. Sometimes his stomach hurt or his head hurt. Sometimes he felt sad, but he did not know why. Sometimes he was nervous for no reason at all. Sometimes he did not sleep very well. Sometimes when he did sleep, he had very bad dreams. The bad dreams scared Sherman. All of these things made Sherman angry. It seemed like Sherman was angry all the time. Sherman started getting into trouble at school. Sometimes he felt so angry that he did mean things. Getting into trouble so often made Sherman feel bad. Sherman did not understand all of his bad feelings. 
He felt confused. Sometimes parents help children figure out their feelings. Sometimes teachers or other grown-ups help. That is how Sherman met Miss Maple. Miss Maple helped Sherman think about his feelings. She listened while Sherman talked to her. They played while they talked. Sherman did not feel as mixed up when he talked to Miss Maple. Once, when Sherman and Miss Maple were colouring, she told him to draw a picture of how he felt when he was angry. This seemed like a strange thing to draw, but Sherman did it. After that, Sherman drew lots of pictures, pictures of the pain in his stomach, pictures of the bad dreams he had, pictures of the fear he felt. Quite a good artist. And at last, pictures of the terrible thing he saw. Sherman and Miss Maple talked about the pictures. He asked if the terrible thing he saw was his fault. Sherman said he worried a lot about that. No, Miss Maple told Sherman, it was not your fault. Sherman told Miss Maple a lot of things. He told her about the bad dreams. He told her how scared he felt. It was all very hard to do. Miss Maple was proud that Sherman was trying to talk about such hard things. Sherman found that it felt good to let his feelings out. Feeling good helped Sherman feel stronger. When Sherman felt stronger, he did not feel so angry. He had fun with his friends. Nothing can change the terrible thing that Sherman saw, but now he does not feel so mean. He is not so scared or worried. His stomach does not hurt as much. And the bad dreams hardly ever happen. Sherman Smith is feeling much better now. He just thought you would want to know. So there we go. That's a little story about Sherman um, and how we all have those sort of mixed up feelings and, and we're not really sure how we're feeling sometimes. And we're not always aware of the fact that our tummy ache or our headache may be something to do with how we're feeling and not actually because we're poorly. So... If you are having any worries like that, or if anything's going on and you're not sure, it doesn't make much sense to you, always talk to a grown-up. You can talk to your grown-ups at home, or you can always reach out and speak to one of your grown-ups when they, when they call you from school. Uh, we're all here for you, and hopefully, very, very soon, we will have an end in sight, and we will know when we're all going to be back together again. But you are doing fantastically well. We are all incredibly proud of you. Uh, we have a few more staff videos coming, so keep your eyes out for those. We're going to have a bit of fun this week. And uh, I will see you very soon. Have a really, really lovely weekend. Miss you all.